I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll explore properties of logarithmic functions. The equation or the question given to us is if f of x equals to log to the base 2 of x square minus 5x minus 6 find the domain of f of x and the range of f of x. Now to find the domain we should we will figure out that this quadratic function which is the argument for log 2 of x should always be positive, right? I mean greater than 0. So that should give us the domain. So we'll work with x square minus 5x minus 6 should be greater than 0, right? Now you can factor this. Minus 6 means 3 times 2 will give you minus 6. But some now we have to take one number negative. So the solution will be x minus 6 times x plus 1, right? So that will give us or help us to factor x square minus 5x minus 6. Now if I have to sketch this graph, now sketching makes it simpler. I could solve the inequality in different ways, but I prefer to do it by sketching. Now so what we have here is that we have two zeros. One of the zero for us is at 6, the other one is at minus 1. This is the parabola. It opens upwards, right? So it's kind of like this, right? So it is kind of like this. So as you can see from this parabola that the zeros will be at minus 1 and at 6. And it is negative in this portion. It's greater than 0 in the portions to the left, right? So let me highlight that portion for you. It is positive in these intervals. Is that okay? So that gives us the domain for the function. You get the idea, right? So from here, we can write that the domain of the function is x belongs to real numbers, where x is from minus infinity to minus 1 and from 6 to infinity. Is that okay? So that is how we can actually get the domain for the function. I hope that is clear. It is in this interval, right? This is your y, or you can say f of x, and this is your x, right? It is in this interval that the particular function which we, which is the argument for log 2 is, is positive. Therefore, that becomes the domain. Now, the second part of this is what is the range for the function, right? Now, if I sketch log 2 of a positive value, then if the value is less than 1, right? So, so if I sketch the value, let me just kind of sketch it here just to explain you the concept, right? So, so it will be kind of, this will be your asymptote, right? So that is the asymptote for your log function. And uh, if you sketch it, it will be kind of like this, right? Uh, I mean, it's not to the scale, but kind of like that. Do you, do you understand? If where, if it is 1, then it is 0, right? If we have less than 1, then you get negative values. Therefore, the range of this function can be written as range y of this function is y belongs to, I mean, y belongs to real numbers, right? So that is how we can answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you.